Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now June 3rd of 2022 and we're getting very close to episode 4 of the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show on Disney Plus that is about to unveil more about the big confrontation between both Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi, all being handled by director Deborah Chow. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support it is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing that Disney Star Wars is currently beginning to set up is that by this September on Disney Plus Day, they are going to be announcing a host of new Star Wars shows on that actual event, and even more Star Wars shows after that, at of course Star Wars Celebration of 2023, which by the way debuts this April. So there's a lot of announcements coming our way for the remainder of the year, as well as the beginning of 2023. Now, about the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series, all right, we already know that there's been a fair amount of criticism, mainly about the characters of Reva and everything to do with Leia and stuff around those lines of how Obi-Wan Kenobi is pretty much being handled at certain points in time. Honestly, I gotta say, I think it's a pretty above average Star Wars TV show that has a number of flaws here and there. I think that so far it's getting better and better as we move along. But the last episode, the Vader and Kenobi duel, I feel that there were times where they should have added in John Williams music. Something was missing from that fight that just didn't make sense to me, but I digress. Everything about what Disney and Lucasfilm have planned for the future of the Star Wars universe is actually becoming very much involved with John Favreau and Dave Filoni. Now, in case you guys did not know, Favreau and Filoni pretty much had no involvement in Kenobi Season 1. And I say Season 1 for a reason because that brings us to the big subject today about what Disney is currently planning for the continuation of the Kenobi TV series. Now, with of course many new Star Wars projects currently in the works by Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni, it's described that they are about to join the continuation of the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show for, Dis for Disney+. Plus. Currently, Disney is already pre-planning a season two for the Kenobi show, and that this is going to give fans a brand new take on the series. Disney is already set to not call this a season two, quote unquote, per se, but will be a continuation of the Kenobi show by continuing the series in another part, if that makes sense. So like a part seven, eight, nine, ten, you name it. However, both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are suggesting and pushing to Disney executives to just go ahead and call it a season two, which honestly, I think that's a better idea. Now, many storyboards that were meant to be used for the first season are being transferred over to the second season of Kenobi that will involve a huge battle between two beloved characters in the Star Wars universe. First off, it is described that one of the big fights that are set to be used in the second season of the Kenobi show, which will take place roughly two years after the events of season one is set to bring back the Grand Inquisitor that eventually falls into a confrontation with beloved character Mace Windu, who will be played by Samuel Jackson again. Now this big addition for the character is set to give fans two familiar faces again in the second season, as this was originally intended to happen in the second season. Now, fans, of course, are about to see multiple hidden Jedi across the galaxy in the new and upcoming show for Kenobi that will finally provide fans the unveiling of Mace Windu that will eventually tie directly into Lucasfilm's other projects dubbed as Star Wars Underworld. Now, season two of the Kenobi show will also dive more into a mission that the Grand Inquisitor goes on to try and hunt down Mace Windu as one of the side stories in the Star Wars canon. Now let me just stop right here for a second. Now, in case you guys didn't know, this was all meant for season one in the early storyboards before everything pretty much was getting rewritten and everything was getting changed by Kathleen Kennedy putting off some of the scripts and having Lucasfilm, you know, rewrite a lot of the scripts. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but a lot of the scripts from the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie, which back then were being handled by Kathleen Kennedy, transferred over to the finalized version of the Kenobi show. And I think that's exactly why you have a lot of Kathleen Kennedy-esque themes and clear decision-making thrown into the show. You know, you can really see exactly what's happening with that. But thankfully, Kenobi season two 
the continuation of the show is not going to have any of that. This is going to be purely built by Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, and Deborah Chow. And I think that's an even, you know, bigger thing to look forward to because Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are very passionate and I feel like they're the only really creators that know how the Star Wars fans think, what they want to see on screen, and exactly how it should really be done. So they have their heads on straight. They know exactly what they're doing. They know what the fans want to see and how things should really be pretty much executed, right? Moving on. Now this is set to be happening alongside Kenobi's main new story that will focus away from Darth Vader. However, Vader will be involved in, of course, the continuation of Kenobi by sending out bounty hunters and dark side users. The goal that both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni have for the continuation of the Kenobi series is to bring in lots of Star Wars Legends elements that can be used. Now Mace Windu is set to get a brand new lightsaber that will be of course blue in the series as he tries to track down and find the saber that he lost many years ago after falling out the window on Coruscant. Both Favreau and Filoni along with Deborah Chow are said to be very involved with the new Kenobi season and that it will be an installment that will have an even higher budget to provide a bigger cinematic theme to the actual show. Samuel Jackson has been in the talks with both Favreau and Filoni for over a couple of months now about reprising his role as Mace Windu in multiple Star Wars projects, including portraying an elderly version of him in the Mandoverse for Mandalorian Season 4 that is going to be one of the biggest reveals for the Star Wars fandom to witness. Favreau is already writing this as we speak for the Mandalorian Season 4. Now, apart from all of that, the thing about the continuation of the Kenobi series, I do agree with both Favreau and Filoni. Let's dive into this because they are actually fighting with the Disney executives to call this a season two and to not just continue it as a part seven, eight, nine, etc., etc. Honestly, I think that either choice here, you know, can work, but calling it a season two is way better for marketing purposes. It is. I think that a season two, by calling it season two with the number two, really signals that there is a true continuation of the story. And if you just go ahead and call it, you know, part seven, I don't know if it's really gonna be all that good for marketing per se, because then you're kind of repeating the marketing. It's just gonna be Obi-Wan Kenobi all over again. So I think that calling a season two is the way to go, and that's exactly what Favreau and Filoni are trying to change, and I think that they, that they will be successful in pretty much, you know, getting Disney to change that marketing approach. Now again, the surprising part about this is that the Grand Inquisitor is not dead. Reva did not kill him. He is back for the continuation of the Kenobi series, and apparently we will be seeing him again at some point in time in season one. You know, and it makes a lot of sense because he's not supposed to be dead at this point in time. And I always knew that Deborah Chow would know better than to break such a big piece of canon lore. And that makes a lot of more sense now. So the Grand Inquisitor coming back into Kenobi alongside with Maze Windu having a confrontation with each other, to me at least, I think is rather fitting. It's very nice to see that John and Dave are now going to be involved. So overall, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.